Unit 2 ACP Web ID Application Development Basis Before we get started with the development basis introduction, I would like to uh, let you know how to get started with SAP Web ID and how to set up your uh, Web ID account for for the uh, exercise. SAP Web ID um, it's available in SAP Cloud Platform. So to use the SAP Web ID, you need to register uh, your developer account for the SAP Cloud Platform. Just Google it by the key of SAP Cloud Platform and then you can find out the SAP uh, Platform website and you open it and you can sign up for free uh, for the developer and then you just need to um, give your uh, username, email and password and then you will receive the email to confirm and activate uh, your, your account for the SAP Cloud Platform and once you have uh, activate your account and then you can access into your SAP Cloud Platform uh, account uh, uh, SAP Cloud Platform copy it like this and then in order to using the SAP Web ID we you need to enable the, uh, the service for SAP Web ID first so as you can see there was a, a number of servers available in the SAP Cloud Platform um, the one we're going to using is the Web ID so you can filter by the keyword Web ID and you can the version we're going to using is the SAP standalone Web ID version and what you need to do just uh, enable the Web ID and then you will be able to having the access to your SAP uh, Web ID uh, account so you will be the SAP Web ID will be uh, look like this and we're going to see more uh, in the latest introduction okay and then we will be able to see the go to service which when you click the go to service and basically you would open the SAP Web ID uh, tool um, here Okay, now let's go back to the presentation. First of all, SAP Web ID can be using for the prototyping. Even though we have learned, uh, we can do the quick prototyping with the build. And actually, the SAP Web ID provides a, a layout editor, a graphical um, UI designer, uh, which you can, in the manner of what you see and what you get uh, for using drag and drop. Uh, for the UI design uh, for SAP Fiori application or SAP UI5 application and you also provide uh, the mockup data uh, for the testing instead of con uh, connecting to the live backend system directly which decouple the development of a UI application with the backend uh, system and we also learned in last session and uh, basically uh, we can also incorporate the build uh, prototype project into the SAP Web ID for further enhancement. And SAP Web ID, uh, you provide the mockup data uh, for the testing. So that means with the mockup server, uh, you can simulate the backend service code uh, with the client without the live connection uh, to the benefit to the backend system. The benefit is uh, it can uh, decouple the development uh, between the UI application and the backend and you can very simply to simply to uh, simulate the service uh, and the data uh, from the backend here and in this way you will focus on the um, UI first approach and the data model uh, using in the SAP Web ID uh, basically it's the uh, old data um, open data protocol and then as you can see the entity data model uh, EDMX uh, it basically it's, uh, it will be stored as a metadata dot XML um, in the in your project and describe the uh, the metadata of your uh, backend of data service 
and then he provide the data content um, which like uh, based on the metadata you can you can using the mockup editor to generate uh, the mockup data uh, for your testing or you can provide the data uh, by yourself in a JSON file uh, for the testing which is very extremely useful uh, when you design uh, the UI interface and uh, even though the backup service is not yet ready and available and with the uh, mockup data feature um, so the mockup data which would be the uh, simulator or data uh, backend uh, um, uh, from the backend service and then it will be used uh, as a transparent for your application there's no change needed uh, when you switch um, the system connecting to the live system uh, because they will be based on the same um, all data model all data um, uh, metadata on that and the data bounding and the mockup server uh, is coming with the application template uh, when you create your PLA application based on the uh, template application template so you would have in the mockup server uh, available as well And then for the co edited um, SVP um, UI5 uh, provide a state of art co edited uh, for uh, for your for your development for the coding, and it, it can have the support the JavaScript X mode, and then it support the code completion and validation and as well, and it, it can uh, it can uh, and it can integrate with the Git uh, project for your collaboration development. Uh, collaborative development here and for further for the completion code completion uh, you can cover the SAP UI5 um, uh, um, library and JavaScript and XML and you also provide a contact sensitive um, how uh, reference uh, for the code snippet uh, you also having the code snippet for the JavaScript and XML for the completion and you can having uh, cross file navigation from chunking jump, jump from uh, one JavaScript file to another JavaScript file the cross file um, junction and then you having the uh, code beautified so you have you don't have to worry about the format of the uh, of the uh, file and you just simply once you finish the development you can uh, using the beautified function to format uh, to beautify your source code and then you also in the provide the API reference uh, which give you the uh, real-time API reference uh, when you when you do the uh, development and for the testing um, SAP Web ID provide a, uh, provide a uh, instant uh, preview uh, uh, in different kind of uh, size of screen uh, it like a small screen uh, for the mobile and median like a more median screen for the tablet or large screen for desktop and for during development you also can config uh, the wrong the, you can have in the wrong configuration for unit testing or as a web application or you want to run it as a, a theory uh, a launch pad and which you can customize for your purpose properly and then once you have finished the development and the testing of the application and then you can very easily to deploy it, uh, your theory application or UF application uh, to any platform and especially uh, you can re with one click you can deploy your Fiori application uh, to the uh, SAP Fiori launchpad um, um, in the uh, SAP Cloud platform and then the end user can using the mobile uh, mobile accessing to your Fiori application or either uh, you can export you can export and import to your on-premise HANA uh, via the um, SAP web based workbench different workbench that's the end of unit 2